So the Purge TV series has now finished its 10 episode run over on the USA Network or here on Amazon Prime in the UK. And I've been pretty excited about this series given the fact that I quite enjoy the Purge movies. And I've been following this show every week since its conception and its release. And I'm now here to do my review for it as I have some mixed feelings. So yes, as I just said, I'm a pretty big fan of the Purge franchise. As you can see around me, I have the first movie there, second movie there, third movie there, fourth movie there. I really like this franchise. They're kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. They're not particularly anything too great, but I personally really enjoy them. I really like the movies, especially the first Purge, which I have the steelbook there. That's the movie that came out this year. I think that movie is actually really underrated, but I really like this franchise. So it was safe to say when they said they were going to do a TV series, I was very, very excited. And going into this series, I didn't quite know what to expect, because from a film with The Purge, obviously you kind of know what to expect. You're going to get, you know, an hour long, two hour long night. But this is going to be 10 hours of TV. So how are they going to stretch that out? And did it work? Well, in some areas, yes, and some others, no. One of the biggest problems that this show faces is that all of the characters that are featured within this show are very unengaging. I found it to be a very long time for me to actually gravitate towards any of the characters in this show. There are four kind of groups of characters that the show focuses on. You have one character played by Amanda Warren, who, let's just say, I mean, Amanda Warren is a great actress and she's great in this show. But her character of Jane Barber, I just didn't find her engaging at all. I didn't really like her story too much. She was okay in the beginning episodes, but as her story went on, I just found it incredibly, incredibly boring. And then you have Miguel, who is kind of your typical Purge protagonist. You know, he's ex-military, he's come back, and he's looking for his sister. Uh, his sister has joined this kind of cult, and, you know, they're kind of exploiting people on Purge night. So he's looking for her, and his storyline was okay, not too bad. It kind of, like, started off alright, and then did get better as it went on. And then you have Rick and Jenna, who are a rich couple looking to close a deal on Purge night. Now, Rick and Jenna were definitely my favourite characters out of the group, because Rick and Jenna... The reason that I like them the most is because The Purge as a franchise typically focuses on the poor, the downtrodden, and the minorities. Because in the movies, The Purge is established as a way for the government to eliminate that minority. So you never really get to see the rich in The Purge because they're normally pretty well protected. But what I like about the series is that it did show these characters, these rich people, and how they were dealing with The Purge and what they did on Purge night, how they got on with it and what they were doing, and how they truly felt about it. And I like that. That was something a bit fresh, again, as a Purge fan, to see. I quite enjoyed seeing how the rich were dealing with it. And again, I like their characters. And then, in particular, even though they were my favourites to begin with, they really grew on me by the end. And I actually really like these characters by the end. Especially when they bring in Lily Simmons as Lila. She's also fantastic in this. I love Lily Simmons from another show. And she's brilliant in this. And I think that their storyline was easily the most engaging out of them all. Also, it's a bit strange because all of these storylines for all these different characters are completely separate. Like I say, you've got uh, Jane, and then you've got Miguel and Penelope and their storyline and the characters involved with that. And then you've got Rick and Jenna. But in the last couple of episodes, and you get to see how they tie all these characters together, which I didn't know if they were going to do or not. I wasn't quite sure if they were going to tie them together, but they do. They tie all their storylines together. And I have to say, it was actually done really well. Because there's this character who shows up about halfway through. You're not quite sure who he is. But he's actually the connective tissue for all of these characters. And when he comes in, and you see what is actually happening, I think it was actually really well executed. And I, it was like a little mini crossover. Like when they all showed up and you had like Rick and Jenna in the same scene as Miguel. It was pretty cool. It was kind of like a little teaser moment. You know, it was like, oh yeah, it's like a little mini crossover. And it was quite fun. And I did enjoy that too. Now, there is another problem with this show, which is pacing. I think it had a decent start and a decent end, but the middle was painfully slow. Painfully slow. I really was struggling in the middle section of this show to actually continue watching because I was watching it going, this is a chore. It didn't, it didn't feel fun. I wasn't enjoying it. Like I said, I think the first sort of three episodes were pretty good and the last three are pretty good, but that middle section is pretty horrendous to be honest with you. And you know, in terms of recommending the show, I think it depends if you're willing to put up with that middle section. Now, obviously, this is the first season of the show. It has actually been renewed for a second season, which is good. Um, I wasn't actually excited for a second season, but after finishing it, and like I say, those last few episodes actually bringing it home, I actually am interested to see where they go with season two, but I'll talk about season two later on. Um, you know, I was kind of worried about season two because that middle section was so boring for me. But if you're willing to put up with that, you should be okay. It's just like I say, I found that really, really hard to get through that middle section. I almost dropped the show.
Also, given that this is the purge, you don't get that much purging. There isn't enough purging in this for my liking. I think that they could have done a bit more on the streets, because obviously it really does focus on the characters, and I think that's fine, but you should have actually established the purge in of itself. And I guess you could argue that obviously, well, we don't need to establish the purge. This is a franchise. We've had four movies at this point, which is true, but I think, you know, the reason why people are watching this is so we can see the purge. That's why we watch these things. So I think we could have a bit more of that, a bit more of the masks, because I love the masks in the purge. The mask is some of my favorite things in the purge because it's so aesthetically pleasing for me that's where a lot of the horror elements come from from the purge are the masks and you do get a few cool ones but again you don't see it that often because the purge itself isn't really focused on so for season two i would definitely like to see a lot more focus on the purge itself maybe take the route that the purge anarchy took and maybe set one character storylines on the streets i think that'd be a lot more entertaining because i'd like to see a lot more of the mask design because i think that's so entertaining you know that's why i really like that steelbook for the first purge as well because you really have that nice little steelbook on the uh, on the mask itself it's, it's a cool design the purge has a really awesome design with its masks and i would have liked to have seen more of it now, what did surprise me about this show is how well the action sequences were directed. I thought a lot of them, especially particularly one in episode four with Miguel, I thought it was actually really well handled. Like, there's this scene where they're in this carnival, and it's really quite interesting because it's very visually entertaining because you have all these different neon lights, it's flashing all over the place, it's very different to what the rest of the show is like. And a lot of the action sequences, I have to say, are very well directed, and I have to think, you know each of the directors who directed each of the individual episodes did a really good job with that. Also, the music, I think, is really good in this. The music in the Purge franchise has always been quite decent, I thought, um, but in here, there's a particular musical motif, which you hear it a few times in episode. If you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. But there's, like, this noise that comes on, and it's really creepy, really atmospheric, and adds to the energy of the Purge. And I really love that noise. It's hard to describe, uh, but if you've watched the season, you'll know what I mean. But it's just, it's really creepy and I love it. And the rest of the music goes along with that really, really well to make this feel like a really dangerous enclosed space. Now, in regards to the recently announced season two, they announced season two uh, the day of the season finale, which was Wednesday. Um, season two, like I say, I am actually excited about it now. I wasn't when I was sort of in the middle of the season. I was like, I don't want this to have a second season, especially because I didn't think it was going to get it because... The way they advertised this, it was very much, you know, a 10 episode mini -se mini series. It was an event, you know, it wasn't like, you know, here's a new show. It was, a, it was an event. But we are getting a season two and they released a little teaser for it. And I think, you know, if they do more stuff actually with the Purge and actually make the characters more investing, I feel like we will be fine. Uh, and like I say, given how it ended and given where we went, I actually think that it was pretty cool because the finale I actually thought was really good. I think the finale wrapped it up so, so well. So to see how they're going to continue that with season two, I am actually very excited and I will watch season two. And I am pretty excited about that. And again, this is the show's first season. So, you know, it's going to have growing pain. So we are going to have to stick with it. But yeah, I am actually pretty excited about season two. My only thing is with season two is I don't know what they're going to do with it. I have a feeling that the Purge as a TV series is going to be like an anthology. It's not going to necessarily focus on the same characters. I don't think we're going to focus on the same characters next season as we did this season. I think it's going to completely be like an anthology thing where we're going to see different characters, different aspects on the Purge. We're going to see new people, people we haven't seen before, new actors can come in and we can do a bit of that. We may get one or two. Like I think Miguel and Penelope have the possibility to come into next season given where they left off. But the rest of the characters, Rick and Jenna, I don't think will show up. Amanda won't show up. Uh, or Amanda Warren's character won't show up. So I feel like, you know, there are some room for crossover. And that'd be quite cool if we get Miguel and Penelope's come back in to connect us to that first season. But I very much believe it'd be a better idea and a more considerable option to go for new characters with season two as part of this kind of anthology series kind of like what black mirror does overall i'm mixed on the purge it's a, it's a, it's an interesting series you know like i say i love the movies but i think the series you know i definitely think that the series prove that the series is more suited to film than it is for tv because like i say the film it feels more like one night because it's a shorter amount of time whereas with this it's 10 episodes so it's 10 hours it doesn't really and you know spread across 10 weeks so it doesn't feel very viable as one night uh, and it's hard to actually keep track of where you are in time with it with it uh, especially because the purge lasts 12 hours and obviously you've got 10 hours so it's hard to actually sort of figure out where you are in terms of the night you get a rough idea but not quite as much as you'd like to but overall i did enjoy the purge in most elements like i say i think the first half is strong the middle half is weak as hell but then the end is really strong and that finale really closes it off well and the fact we are getting a season two does make me optimistic that, you know usa are a bit more passionate about the show and actually want to see it continue and grow which i'm happy with like i say i'm a huge fan of the purge franchise and if season two can really step up i'll be very happy with that i would definitely like to see that and yeah i think you know this show 
is worth your time. If you're interested in it, I'd definitely give it a watch. If you're not interested in it, it may not be for you. I don't think it's going to change your mind or anything in regards to The Purge. But if you are a fan of The Purge and you're interested in this show, I would definitely give it a watch. So did you guys see the Purge TV series? If you did, make sure you tell me all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let's have a conversation about this. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on this one in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you want to see more movie, more movie or TV reviews from me, be sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.